Hey, Bob McGill Band, Talk of the Town. Look what I got here today. This is, I think it's a 1950s, in that range, sometime in the 50s, uh, K tenor banjo. And it's got this really nice kind of orange sunburst. I haven't seen that before. I've seen them in black, uh, but the orange sunburst is uh, really nice. It's got a new new head on it from Stu Mac. Uh, the tuners are original uh, and it's a tenor banjo. And You might be going like, well, how do you play a tenor banjo? Uh, well, if you can play a mandolin, uh, you can play a tenor banjo because it's basically tuned like a, a mandola. It's tuned in the in fours. And uh, I normally put a little pad under the uh, on my mandolins and a banjo because when it rings, sometimes these strings can ring. Uh, sympathetically and if they're not exactly in tune you kind of hear this thing that's slightly out of tune but you can't tell. So I usually put a little pad under all my mandolins and I did it underneath this banjo as well. But uh, Let's take a listen and just see what a 1950s K tenor banjo sounds like. <laughs> Said, it's a really nice sound. Uh, however, if you ever hear anything like that, run! You don't want to hear that. Uh, uh, one thing that I sometimes do. Uh, so I'll actually pad the head just a little bit. I'm going to do that. We'll just have a quick little comparison of sound. Because sometimes, uh, another thing, if you really don't take the time to tune the head all around, you can also get a little ring. So let's just hear the difference and see uh, if you can hear it over this little speaker. <laughs> Sometimes for recording, that's kind of a nice thing. But uh, uh, this is, like I said, it's a 1950s. The neck, it's kind of set up like a, uh, an acoustic guitar um, uh, at the 12th fret. Um, it's it's in very very nice condition, uh, considering the age. Um, it's it's as old as I am, and it looks better. It's kind of sad. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, if you really want to get into it, you can kind of polish up the chrome a little bit. It, it, it all looks good though. And it does have the original case that it goes in, uh, which is kind of nice because an instrument like this, hey, even though it's not valuable, you want to keep it in nice shape and, and uh, uh, maybe pass it down for another couple of generations. So. There you have it. It is a 1950s K tenor banjo. Like I said, it plays exactly like a uh, mandola. So if you know mandolin chords or mandola chords, uh, you can play a tenor banjo. So there you have it. 
Bob McGilpin, Talk of the Tone, checking out. I hope you enjoy it. Y'all come back and see me. Thanks.